Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is, can I say, the Right Honourable Gentleman Chris Pincher, sometimes described even by the Prime Minister it seems as Pincher by name, Pincher by nature. While it still isn't clear if Boris Johnson is actually going to resign, he did deliver a speech in Downing Street but I think he has grown roots in number 10 and it may be a tad difficult to pull them up. But finding an interview with Chris Pincher has been difficult, one where he actually talks about telling people what to do even more so. But here he was back in 2017 speaking to a member of JA Media. And I think, I hope anyway, that they also voted for me because they could trust me as a Brexiteer. I've been reading up a little bit and I realise that your position within Brexit was the whip. Do you currently have a similar position? in government or yes. has it changed? <laughs> I'm, um, I am a government whip. I've got a rather grand title. I'm the Comptroller of Her Majesty's Household. Uh, that's the formal title yes. I've got but I'm also the government pairing whip. So I'm the whip responsible for making sure that we have enough votes to win majorities in the House of Commons and that can sometimes be a rather challenging position because you've got to say no to people who want to go to events or be in their constituency. Or <laughs> when people say no to you, you ignore that and you just continue doing whatever pleases you. Just like a whip, you know, in reverse in a sense. They, the people want to do something and you tell them, no, you're not allowed to do that. When in reality, as you were uh, quite handsy, it seems, as Boris Johnson, I think, said, um, they didn't want you to do something, but you actually wanted to do something. Now, why is this guy fool of the week? Well, it could be this is the guy who couldn't keep his hands to himself, could be the guy that brings down Boris Johnson. Now, Boris Johnson delivered a speech saying something about maybe resigning. <laughs> that remains to be seen yet. But if he does eventually go, Chris Pincher is probably the straw that broke the camel's back. And um, I think... He's a good candidate for Fool of the Week because he could be the one who eventually brought down Boris Johnson because he couldn't keep his hands to himself. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week.